What's up, my dudes and dudettes of Mark in the Park? Our dudes and dudettes. Uh, not mine. Not oh, God. They're their own people. What's up, dudes and dudettes who belong to whomever you'd like? They don't themselves. belong to anyone. They belong themselves. to themselves. Okay. Okay. And if you're new here, we're weird, and this happens all the time. We're gonna go to tide pools because it's gonna be low tide. We're going to Comer's Beach, which has the most marine life, and I'm so excited. We also started off the day at the Tofishin, I think is how you pronounce it, and uh, had a delicious Americano. I'm running out of only coffee. She had a misto, which we learned today is basically half Americano, half cappuccino, and it was delicious. It was we are wired, and we are feeling good. Feeling the caffeine. Feeling great. And uh, the sun is, oh, it's peeking through now before it was overcast. So hopefully we see some cool beaches today. We're just chilling out today because tomorrow we are doing the Not surf. Not just chilling out, we're gonna go see tide pools. Without my love for the ocean. This, my mirrorless camera friends, is why you buy a glass screen protector for your camera. Because if that was my actual screen, I would barely be able to film anything now. I am a genius. High five to pass marks. Some things in life, even when you're on a road trip, are worth shouting out for. And we went a fancy. Oh, we did. We got a blue cheese, we got some kind of goat beamster cheese, and we got half of a summer sausage from that cute place called Picnic. We were actually driving down the road and we're like, we want to go into town and get bread and meat and cheese and walk around and eat it. And we were driving down and we saw this place called Picnic and we're like, that is literally exactly what we needed. We were going to go to a grocery store, but that solved all our problems. Yeah, I love supporting little local businesses instead of just buying it at like co-op or something. And all these cheeses are so, they're so purposeful in like what they make. For it, like well, I feel like when you're getting like a brie from a grocery store, it's not that exciting. But like this was like the French style blue cheese, and it just it looks so intentional in its existence. It looks it it just looks delicious to me. That's all I see when I look at that. I'm just like look past the cheese. Work. Whoops. And now for the bread portion of this delicious picnic. So full, so good though. I regret nothing. You regret anything? In life or about the cheese? About the cheese? No. We're gonna walk around to Fino a little bit to uh, to, to walk off out. that cheese some and to find out some things nice. Thanks. Also, walking burns off all that cheese, right? Yeah. Justified. That was totally just someone pranking their friend. People were saying it was an Edmonton number. That's a, that is probably the best prank I've ever seen. Working off the cheese. I don't think you're doing it right. 
I don't think you're supposed to go all the way back like that. Yeah, but I'm not strong enough to have that kind of control. Like yeah. It's still very weird. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of just hurts. Yeah, in a bad way. Spinal lifts, spinal lifts. Now you know you're doing it right when it feels like the pain is irreversible. No, I'm scared. <laughs> It's not crushing you. <laughs> no, no, no. All of that cheese is going to come out. So that zip line was theoretically designed for six to twelve year olds. It still held our weight though. But when Being I was creative, but it can be for twenty year olds. Yeah, when I was going on it, a little kid walked by, and when I was done, he asked why I was on it, and he was probably five years old. Yeah. <laughs> so feel feel pretty good about myself right now. <laughs> Devotion